Well, hi again, everybody. Welcome back to the Mac Center, where the Golden Flashes pass their first true test in the Mid-American Conference. They stay in first place with a gritty 67-60 win over the projected Mid-American Conference champion, Toledo Rockets. Tyler, they're back with you. A raucous night at the Mac Center. It's the Golden Flashes sweep. A three-game league homestand. Explosion for Kent State offensively from guys like Devereaux Manley, 21. Chris Brewer, 18. And take a look at how it all unfolded for the Golden Flashes with tonight's highlights. Side gives to Dev. Over his first two. Going to try a shorter one. This time he dishes off, and Spicer will flush with two hands well, to send the Golden Flashes in flight. Rockets have the basketball double team. Ball is poked away momentarily. Here's a vicious block. And outlet it goes to Brewer. Lawrence came up with the block, and Brewer turns it into two. This side, run down, but it taken right away by Manley on the run. Right in front of us, he cruises into the paint, goes to the basket, and put it in. And the Golden Flashes have their first lead. Great. Here's Hall backing in against Booth. Closed off. Now he goes at him again. Spins to the right, goes up, put it in. Pretty. Thompson got it in, fumbled somewhat by Hall, holds on to it. Here comes the double to trap him. Gets away to Jackson, long contested three is perfect. The offensive glass, and right now, that's been a big difference in this one. They have gone up by five, 21 to 16. 5.05 on the clock, Jackson for three, he hits a long one in. Basketball. Manley will fake the three from the left, penetration into the paint, trickles it in for the lead. Uh -huh. Left with three, there is a three, he's short. Spicer whacks it back to Manley, he'll lay it in with four. Great job by Kalik Spicer. So Near the lane, fights through it with a toss to Ortiz, drive to the paint, and he'll put it up and in. Right hand makes it a five-point Kent State lead. Toledo's biggest lead, six. Here's Spicer, got room and scores, and the foul. Great move there, taking Booth right to the rim. Hall spins, now goes to the right side, double teamed. He'll bank it in as he gets a kind roll. Finally. The flashes have not been able to get a bucket on one end and a stop at the other. Here's Jackson through two defenders. The leaner is good. Pretty crossover. Great front. job by Akbar after the switch. Akbar hustles back, tied. On a two-hand flush by Spicer, we are back to even at 47. Manley, 49-47. Here's Dev at the top to the line, down the lane, around the world tie game. What? Jackson now beckons for the screen. Nope, tosses instead. Spicer has his pass batted back at him. Seven to shoot Brewer. From the right, hoists and fires. It hits! Brewer will penetrate, skip it on one hop. Hall circles out. Manley fires the three. Yes! Drummond was just a little bit too late as Manley had a chance to set up on that fine by. 3-10 on the clock, Kent State plus three. Hall underhands it to Jackson. Now Manley off the screen for three. Kaboom! How about that? Their biggest lead of the night is six. Jackson one hands it to Manley. The key for KSU is to keep the foot on the pedal. Two and a half to go. Here's Brewer driving down the lane. All the way to the bucket, lays it in. The last few minutes. Ortiz rattles home the second. And it's about time we stop talking about Toledo and ask this question as it's 67-60 as Mosley fires and misses a three, leading to a KSUK over Toledo. The Golden Flashes, folks, are for real. Holding the Toledo Rockets to 60, a job well done for Kent State. Now, after this three-game sweep of the homestand, they'll stay in first place and go on the road where life's been good in 2014-2015, taking on the Ball State Cardinals. So on Superhero Night at the Max Center, a superheroic effort by the Golden Flashes who knock off Toledo 67-60 to stay in first place. For all of us at Golden Flashes TV, I'm Ty Linder. Golden Flashes win it. So long, everybody.